Hey folks, Ron here. Today we're taking a tour of Mapleton Drive in Holmby Hills. This is uh, the back end of the what is the largest house in Los Angeles County. And this is 56,000 square feet. This home was owned and built by Aaron Spelling, his wife Candy Spelling, of course his daughter Tori Spelling lived there. This is just one tiny little sliver of this 56,000 square foot house. Uh, this home was bought by them I believe in 1990 and Candy was adding on and adding on. It was her life's dream to make this a tremendous mansion, which it is, 56,000 square feet called the Manor. And they lived here for quite a long time and it has a bowling alley, a theater, a gym, separate wings, rooms for shopping, uh, wrapping presents, rooms for all kinds of different things. Uh, so this is, like I said, just one tiny little sliver of it. Um, it sold then uh, to Petra Ecclestone, who is the daughter. Oh, and here's somebody coming. And look at that. He actually came out and made me leave. Okay, let's move on now. Wow, that's security, huh? He actually made me leave. Now, that's being on camera. Now, the interesting thing about that home, as I was saying, it was built, it was uh, bought by Petra Ecclestone the daughter of a billionaire and British socialite. She sold it then for, let's turn this way. She sold it then or was looking to sell it for $200 million and eventually ended up selling it to an anonymous buyer who obviously is not anonymous because if they have security that comes out from the gate and tells you to split, they're not so anonymous. They don't want to be found out. But it was bought by the current owner for $119 million uh, in 2019, which is, I believe, the greatest sale of any property probably ever. Uh, that was really interesting, having security come and kick me out. Again, I could have done this at, uh, at night, but I would imagine they'd come and kick me out anyway. So the cameras are watching whoever comes up out front. I'll tell you, only in Beverly Hills, folks, only in Albany Hills and immediately have to send somebody out and say, stop filming the house. Not that I was gonna see anything. So there you go. I wish I could have gotten more for you, but that's really all we could see. Let's come down now and shoot another place that we'll be kicked out of by security, should we continue. And that will be the former Playboy Mansion. Now what you're going to see here, as we come down here, is a lot of construction and again a permanent security guard when this house was owned and if you could come by throughout the, you could come through here i know from personal experience 70s or excuse me 80s 90s 2000s it was just the driveway this is all the playboy mansion behind the edges the driveway the stone and i should say the rock that you would speak into I'm going to try to avoid this UPS truck here and not hit it. There would be sort of a rock that you would speak into. That was um, how you'd gain entry, and then security would let you in. Again, this is all behind the hedge here. It's former Playboy Mansion. Now, you can see the security truck. We're coming up to it now. See, if I jog by or came by with my dog, it's no problem. Now we've got a security truck that's there 24 hours a day, and that's the gate to the former Playboy Mansion. So they're doing some kind of crazy construction there now, now that the new owner has bought it. And uh, it's a completely different experience now. By the way, that truck is there 24 hours a day. Okay, folks, we're up here at Sunset Boulevard. I'm gonna call it now because it's quite uh, treacherous to come by here during the, during the day without a traffic light here on Sunset. So that's it for today. My name is Ron, and we'll look at some Sunset Boulevard traffic there. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Please give me likes, and please comment in the comment section, should you choose to. We're on to my next destination. I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you again. Bye-bye.